the African savanna wildlife has its own unique journey. Here, it is all about survival. Either you are the predator, the prey, or the scavenger. Vultures are very much important in the ecosystem. Um, but uh, people have had um, a misconception about it. We have been seriously concerned about the dramatic decline in vulture population. Among the scavengers, vultures are possibly one of the most majestic and awe-inspiring creatures who are often misunderstood. They are poorly associated with nefarious activities when actually they probably do mankind one of the biggest favors on earth. They feed on carcasses, helping to keep the environment clean, thereby likely preventing disease from spreading. Vultures provide valuable services that we don't even have to pay for. They are the sanitation workers of the savannah picking carcasses of dead animals clean to reduce the likelihood of diseases spreading. As sentinels of the skies, they warn authorities of poaching activities. They save the lives of so many animals, even the elephants that tower below them. Not only are vultures our friends, they play a big role in our habitat. then why are we driving them towards extinction? Across Africa, vulture populations have drastically reduced by up to 97% in some instances due to various factors. Major threats include poisoning, accounting for about 61% of vulture deaths, belief-based use where vulture parts are used for traditional medicine, accounting for 29%, and electrocutions and collision with energy infrastructure accounting for about 9% of vulture mortalities and 1% due to other causes. In North Africa, electrocution is a severe threat to vulture populations. Besides poisoning, which is still used at the local level in some areas, other threats are mostly much localized in space and time. Uh, example includes uh, belief-based use of uh, vulture parts, uh, electrocutions, uh, direct persecution, the drowning in small farm reservoir and wells. In Morocco, Grepom, a bird life partner, opened the Vulture Rehabilitation Center in May 2020 in Jebel Musa. Their most recent victory is the reintroduction of the Griffon vulture, which has been missing from the nation as a breeding species for 40 years. Despite all these works, there are still many things needed to be done for the conservation of both breeding and migratory vultures. Unfortunately, lack of or daily of conservation actions uh, are caused mainly by lack uh, of appropriate funding, not by lack of vision or lack of capacity. To save the vultures, governments and local communities, as well as other NGOs, must be at the heart of conservation efforts. Further, BirdLife International is engaging governments, bringing attention and urgency to tightening regulations, banning toxic substances that poison wildlife, phasing out the use of lead ammunition, creating protected areas, capacity building of enforcement personnel, and prosecuting wildlife crimes. Uh, Grepom is yet to develop a project aimed to, to help the species thrive and even expand um, to adjacent areas launched a very important initiative called the BirdLife Africa Vulture Conservation Forum. This idea of this forum is essentially to bring together our partnership as a first step and then hopefully continue to branch out and really bring, you know, the collaboration at the scale required to help vultures soar again, as we say. We need funding. 
$100 could purchase basic poison response kit. $500 could purchase premium poison response kits with a camera and GPS equipment. $1,000 could equip Volsha support groups with backpacks, GPS equipment, smartphone, binoculars, and a camera. $5,000 could train 20 people to respond to wildlife poisoning incidents. And for $10,000, this could help establish a vulture safe zone at least 50 square kilometers in size. We need volunteers. We need government's continued vigilant action. We need to create awareness about vultures so that everyone can contribute. And by contribute, we mean save the vultures. Save our wildlife. Save ourselves. Our scavengers are beautiful, and they are more helpful than most of us realize. Let's conserve them as part of our ecosystem. And because we can, through our compassion and our action, let us save Africa's vultures.